Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here. Finally caught Little Joan and got her got her in the seat. And we're going to take a look at 13 Minutes. Uh, it's a screenwriter's rant about a tornado movie. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description, including The Pineys Book 7, The Paradox Piney, ebook, trade paperback, and Kindle Unlimited is free. Uh, more than 1,200 tornadoes hit the U.S. every year. And this one, the average time to get the shelter is 13 minutes. Okay. The average time to seek shelter is 13 minutes. Yeah. Get in the basement, bathtub. Um, I'm not in tornado country. New Jersey doesn't really have too many tornadoes. We had, we had like a handful of them, but our trees are the most, uh, you know, thing that we have to worry about, at least around in my neighborhood. A big tree falling down. But this is in the middle of the Midwest where tornadoes are big and sometimes they get really big. And so this is a disaster movie about tornadoes and a town that goes through a big tornado and the power goes off and people got to get the shelter. And, uh, you know, there's people in a hotel and then there's people at a news thing. And then this kid goes out into the middle of the street for some reason. And then somebody has to save her and houses are destroyed. Uh, Trace Atkins, I know that name. Anne Heche. Oh, Anne Heche is in it. I know her. Paz Vega. I've seen her in a different trailer. Amy Smart. I know. Let's see who wrote this thing. Um, story by Travis Farncombe, Lindsay Gosling. And written and directed by Liz Lindsay Gosling. Uh, yeah, I'm not... Look, they're kind of all the same, right? I mean, when you get right down to it, disaster movies are the same damn thing. The first act, well, everything's normal. Here's how life is happening. Do, 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 do. And then the warning happens. And some people listen to the warning, and there's always one guy like, this is going to be a really big one. You really have to get to the root cellar hours early. And everybody's like, oh, shut up. And then it starts to happen. And the second act, like, people are starting to get be aware and... Things go wrong, and somebody's, I don't know, somebody's in an ambulance driving to help somebody, and they have to drive back into the storm, and things like that happen, right? Like coincidences, like, oh, just at that moment, I have to turn around and try to drive back into the storm. And then I end up underneath some bridge trying to hold out in the ambulance while the wind knocks everything over. Um, so, and there'll be all these little dramas of various people at various farms, and some of them die and sacrifice themselves to save the others. And, you know, here are the hotel maids saving the inhabitants of a motel. And, um, you know, and there's, I think that's Amy Smart hiding with her kid in a bathtub somewhere as the ceiling gets ripped out. I mean, it looks cool enough for a disaster movie, but it's a disaster movie. And then, you know, third act, it's like, oh, we made it. <laughs> oh, 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 the sun's out. <laughs> oh, it's a new day. We're going to rebuild. Yeah, Fred's dead, but he sacrificed himself so we could live. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Is there, are there any new spins on this? I guess, uh, wasn't there a movie where there was a heist during a storm? Like, that, that to me is like, you know, one way. You combine genres, I guess. But ultimately, you know, I saw Twister. So, you know, with the cow flying because CGI was new and they thought they'd do something cool and clever. I, am I going to see this? No, I've seen this movie like a million times. I saw The Towering Inferno. Like that, that used to be back in the 70s when disaster movies were big. Towering Inferno was like the big hit and then they made a bunch of disaster movies and the idea would be you'd get a bunch of big celebrities big name celebrities to be in it and uh you know they'd die one by one they'd have this like big dramatic death scene where they'd sacrifice themselves or if they were a baddie uh heavy they uh they'd be the guy to go no no i can't wait no don't run out there <laughs> um if you've seen the poseidon adventure that's a classic um, but, you know, they're, they're exactly the same. The only difference, of course, is back in the 70s, they didn't have all this cool CGI. So the Storm stuff will be cool, I guess. But ultimately, as a, as a drama, 
you know, and they did volcano, and they did like every every natural natural disaster you can possibly think of. They've already done, right? And a few unnatural ones like alien invasions. Um, it's all kind of the same, <laughs> you know. It's all people pulling together, and when the times are tough. So I don't know. I don't think there'll be anything different here. I'm not seeing it if there is. I mean, it's very possible it's a bad cut of the trailer, but it looks all the same. Uh, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it doesn't look like it'll be unentertaining if you like disaster movies. But ultimately, you can kind of suss out who's going to live and die in these movies. It's usually not a surprise. Like, they're not going to kill any kids. That's, like, too heavy. They might kill some old guy who sacrifices himself or... You know, the redemption character. The character has to redeem themselves. Um, but then I, they don't want to kill a lot of people because it's a downer ending, right? You want a sort of happy ending. And then all the, uh, remember all the, the, the meteor movies, Deep Impact and all those where there would always be a black president before we had a black president. Um, so yeah, 13 minutes. Eh. 13 minutes stretch out the two hours. hey and that's it for me, Tony D. Uh, check out our other videos on BitChute and Rumble, please. And please give us a vote up. Click, click like. Need some engagement. And we'll see you tomorrow.